doesn't sound good. Two secs, mate. Just online banking, trying to donate to your paper. Oh, all right. Here we go. What's that? Are we okay? Or? Yeah, so, so I put it up, right, as um, if people wanted to donate. Um, no, me, I will say how it is. Yeah, yeah. You know but what? That's, I don't hold back, me. So, so I, I, I'm compared to, my mate calls me, um, I forget his name, but there's a <coughs> an interviewer from um, the 1970s, and there was a documentary called... Um, um, Joe Go Home, I think it was. Right. Um, and I actually watched it the other day, and it's a very raw, um, real yeah. um, reality. And this was in the 70s. Right. Um, so I get a lot of stick because I interview um, prostitutes on the streets, yeah. and a lot of them are like, they just want money, and it's like, listen. And, and what do you do it for? So I do it for YouTube. So I, I right, okay. publish it on YouTube. I, right. I don't make anything financial out of yeah, it. Yeah. But I did today um, put a post out to rally to say, listen, yeah. um, if, if so this lassie's um, going to put something into the PayPal. So I said, listen, if, if, any, if it's 28 people and you're putting a pound, we can take the guy out for dinner, yeah, yeah, have a yeah. coffee. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And I'm all about... Um, like I've had people help me in life and I know what it's like to be in a situation that's shit yeah. and, and to people to look down on you and all that shit. I know, I, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so I think it's easier for me to, to be relatable in, in that sense. With the people. Yeah, and, yeah, and like I get tired, I'm not going to lie, I get tired of, I've reached a point where it's like, um, like I was in Grimsby the other day and I was giving people like money and that and it's yeah. like, I've got this thing, like it in, in my, it, mate. yeah. So I'm like that. Like I know it's like I'm enabling yeah. certain people. Like there's, there was a drug, uh, and yeah. I knew I'm like. Yeah. So now I've reached the point. It's like right. If I can get people to put a pound in, let's yeah. go and take somebody out. It's on the street for a meal. If they want a meal, then we get a meal. And it's kind of more memorable that somebody's reached out and been like human. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that makes sense. No, but yeah, of course it does. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, so I've got a moderator of it. Um, she's a lovely lassie. I didn't see that she said that she was going to send something over. Um, <coughs> bear with me a sec. Oh, I haven't got that, so that's no good. I mean, that's the best thing to do, is be on the street with the people. Yeah, yeah. For um, what matter. So I... I got involved with um, um, a, um, a group a group of people that um, um, oh, not really relevant it is relevant to, to in the sense of um, so this guy watched my videos and um, he's like why, why I've only I've only met him once and said hello to him um, and it really pissed me off to be fair because um he was like, well, why don't you go and feed the homeless and things like that? And um, I was like, if you actually watched my videos, mate. Or, or no, no, you no, just, I no, no, I, I don't I, I, This is what I was saying to this yeah. guy. Like, if you actually watched my, yeah, I have. Um, so I had to do, like, a, a, like I always talk to other content creators. Like, what? Yeah. I was like, what do you think of that video I just done? Um, yeah. It's like, yeah, it's good. And they said to me, like, listen, this is why people come and attack you for what you do sometimes. Yeah. It's, not, it's not you. Like, it's... I was like, oh, because it's war sometimes when you're yeah. talking to people and they're openly, yeah. like, bearing the south. Um, yeah. But yeah, like, the guy like, started attacking me and it's like, listen, I'm in Lincoln, mate, I'll come and see you, because, like, yeah. it got really personal. Right. And, uh, and he went too far. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm in Lincoln, mate, do you want the words? And it's like, no, uh, well, I'm busy. He's like, yeah, but I thought, I'll leave it at that. Yeah. I thought, yeah, yeah, you just had a lot of fucking safety yeah. there, do you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> um, Right. It's like I say, I've been like, I've only been, I've never ever been homeless before. Yeah. And this is my first time since the 18th of January. Yeah. And I, the amount of people that I've seen, yeah. and met, nice people and bad people. Yeah. And it's opened my eyes. Yeah. 
you know. And it's like I said, it's all right giving homeless money. Yeah. But they're spending it on the wrong things. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I think I think for me personally, if you so like you were just saying that you know if the person gets a meal. Yeah. Or even a pack of cigarettes. I think I think that means more to the people. Oh, hold on. Oh. Let me just check those two seconds. Uh. Are you hungry? I'm, I'm okay, just yet. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. I'm okay, just yet. So, so somebody sent 20 quid. Mm. Um, yeah, so like if you and the other guy want to what, 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 Yeah, what, what I'd rather you do, so, so like if somebody sent you 20 quid or something like that. Yeah. Me, I know this might sound stupid. Yeah. Right? No. When you're on the street, yeah. right, and say if you smoke, right? Yeah. A packet of cigarettes means more than food. Yeah. Do you, do you smoke? I, yeah. A pack of right. cigarettes makes you feel at ease. Yeah. You know, like an alcoholic, they like a drink. Yeah, oh, I mean, like I, smoke me, I like to smoke instead. Yeah. It yeah. makes you feel at ease. Yeah. And it's like I say, you go to the Salvation Army yeah. in the mornings, and get, get, you get a breakfast, yeah. you get a dinner. Yeah. That does me. Yeah. I don't need to go around to the other places and get, you know, more food. Yeah. Where, where some people are quite greedy that way. But yeah. I've heard that. A lot of them throw the food away, yeah. which is not right. No. You know, if they don't, if, if they don't, don't need it, it yeah. don't take it. Yeah. Kelly, you're you're a legend. Oh. Yeah, I've, I've checked the messages. Thank you. Right, yeah, we do that. Like, um, what what do you smoke? Any, anything, Any, anything. What's going on? JPS, yeah. fake grand. It, just, it doesn't matter. Anything. Right, we do that then. When, when you're on, the, when you're on the street, it doesn't matter what you smoke. Yeah. Because I know it might sound strange, but people, even homeless people, yeah. they more or less ask you more for a cigarette yeah. than what they do food. Yeah. <laughs> which is quite I mean, strange. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm cool with that. There's, there's the other guy that you with smoke as well. He's actually not homeless. Okay. He is uh, my friend. I, I was sat on the, the end shed yeah. and uh, he came down one morning and started, because I was there for three days yeah. uh, where I didn't even speak to anybody. And he came down one morning and said, are you all right, Stephen? And, you know, and blah, blah, blah. We got talking and that's how we became friends. Yeah. You know, I do see a lot of people near them sheds during the day yeah. that say hi, because yeah. they know me from there. Yeah, yeah. But, that's great. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've even had people coming up to me and like giving me a, a cup of coffee or, you know, giving me a cigarette or something like that. Yeah. It's the night time you worry about. Yeah. The night times are uh, the, the worst. Unpredictable. Ever. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what you mean, Kelly. What do you want? Who's Kelly? Does she work with you or something? Um, so... Oh, not, not you. Hello, Jono. Uh, oh, I, did, I, didn't, I didn't get what the last message meant, Kelly. Oh, what was your name again? Stephen. Stephen, yeah. Stephen. Stephen. Somebody else said Alex, somebody else said Stuart, and I was like, I'm not going to lie, I just um, read a shit with people's names. Stop, <laughs> no, Stephen. Like, Stephen, right. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll flip this one, man. So this is kind of different, really. So, so what are you going to do? Are you going to ask me questions or something? Yeah, so... so, so, so that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll do it as, as like a real... 
<laughs> Kelly's like, it's Stephen, write it down. Um, <laughs> uh, I probably should. Well, if, if you answer me the questions, yeah. then I will answer them. Yeah. You know, yeah. Way, the way, so, the way so it is. Gen generally, like, I, I, I go start with, like, um, like I'll introduce myself, and, yeah. like, you just introduce yourself. Like, I'm Stephen. Uh, I, I met you today. Um, and then... Um, you, you can go down the route of like what what um, I, f I find sometimes sometimes um, people's past effects where they are yeah yeah I have no problems whatsoever. Um, uh, uh, there, there was a lassie the other day um, that I was speaking with and um, she, she was like you know my, my past had Nothing to do with where I am today. I grew up, had two horses, yeah. lived in the country. Oh yeah, she could be a millionaire the day yeah. after. You could and, be on the and streets. Then, yeah. Then her family just um, um, and yeah, she's got four kids. Um, yeah. it, it was actually kind of. Um, Sad because I mean nobody knows who she is because I didn't interview her. But, um, she she was attacked recently, and um, yeah. and it was because of that attack. Um, it's made her kind of yeah. really think about life. Um, and some of the stories. Um, okay, two seconds. Oh, okay. My, okay, I wasn't too sure what was going on there. Um, yeah. Some, some, uh, I'll show you the, the video if I can find it after. Uh, there's a lassie I interviewed in, in Hull, and um, she, I, I hope. So I've been back and she's not um, uh, working on the street. She's got into a hostel and that, so I hope she's kind of moving away from all that and, and found direction out of way but uh, her story was like uh, I kind of grew like attached to her in the sense of that for reality and in our, in our honesty it was kind of like I related to some of the stuff that, that she was saying not not directly but um, yeah it, it was like a mum got her on drugs um, <clears throat> and it's like what sort of do you know what I mean? And it, yeah. she didn't stand a chance. And the, the, the most powerful thing in the interview with her was her self-awareness. Like she knew um, her dad died, um, and that was her biggest support emotionally. Um, even though he had these issues as well with drugs, but he kind of started to sort himself out. And then he died when she had no one. And but her awareness and and um, whatnot was just. Oh, I can't even explain it. It, it, it just like, I was like, wow. Um, generally, some people, um, I know, um, as a lassie somewhere else, yeah. and um, she, she's, she, she'll never, she'll never change. She, I mean, like, I'm not, like, she was abused as a kid and all that stuff, but she, she lives in that place. Like, um, there's no... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. You know, bad things happen in life. Um, that you either look at it as, as oh, an experience. Yeah, I, I, <clears> I, 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 I always say. Um, in, I mean, I'm bankrupt now, but I, I was made bankrupt by uh, what inspired me to do what I do, in a sense, um, which is a story in itself. But um, whenever I engage with people, like when I'm speaking to yourself, I'm, I'm very. I like to think that I'm humble in the sense of I, I do what I do with respect and, and I, I always look at it there's a thin line in life like I've, I'm bankrupt now and, and like I was doing like alright money you know what I mean um, <clears throat> but that that's a reality check for me though it's just money um, I'm not motivated by money in that sense it paid for bills and, and it tried to help me build my business but then there's, like, I've dropped, I've, I've got no credit, do you know what I mean? I'm not asked about that. Yeah. But there's a thin line, like, I don't know, like something, God forbid, but like, you know, my wife could die or, or you know, and then, yeah, there's so many factors that 
you know, that guy over there could be on the street in a year doing drugs. There's yeah, no... Just going, oh, dear. Yeah. <laughs> um, right, bear with me a second. Oh, hold on. <clears throat> if I've missed anything, I apologise. Um, can I just say it's... <laughs> um, what job did Stuart have and how did he end up homeless? Yep. Did the relationship result in any negative impact? Well, I'll try and keep these questions, guys. Um, <clears throat> just twist this. Just chuck you that. You can hold it or just. What does that mean? Uh, is that your mic? Microphone, yeah. So you can. I'll just put it here in front of you. Yeah. Well, we just clip it on so just so it's higher so it can take more of us. Where do you want it? Light you up like a fucking Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Daniel. Hi. Nice to meet you, Steve. I should have let you introduce yourself there, Steve. <laughs> so I met you earlier on today, had a little chat, and I said I'd come back, and uh, and I did, and I found you. Yeah. So we just come from the hotel for a cup of coffee. Okay. And, uh, and a chat. Uh, obviously, you found yourself homeless. Uh, one of the questions somebody asked is, how did you find yourself homeless? It's a bit of a long story. Okay. But got... I came from uh, Turkey. And uh, I landed here on the 18th of January to come over and see my son and my granddaughter who live here and my daughter who lives in Northern Ireland. Yeah. And basically, I don't want my daughter knowing yeah. and I don't really want my, my son knowing that I'm homeless and I'm on the streets. Because obviously they're going to want to help you. But yeah. it's a bit, um, when you're the father, you know, I have a bit of pride. And I just don't want them knowing that I'm on the street. Yeah. So that's that one. Uh, but we were saying just uh, earlier on, or are we saying, um, right, was there uh, um, anything in, in your past that led you to where you are today? 
Uh, no, not really. No, I mean, I was in Northern Ireland for like 17 years. And with, you know, bringing my daughter up with my ex-partner. Yeah. And uh, then decided to go over to Turkey because I met another partner. Yeah. Um, my, my partner with my daughter, she went her way, I went my way. And I went to live in Turkey and I've been there for the past four years, up to 18th of January. How old are you now? Pardon? How old are you now? Me, I'm 62. 62? Yes. Okay. So how long have you actually been on the street? Since 18th of January. 18th of January? Yeah. So, like you're saying, like you won't reach out to your family, I, I understand yeah. that. But what, what is, um, like I don't know what this area is like, but I know some areas have initiatives and they like have a, an outreach where they get you into a hostel or something. Yeah. Like for, for me, um, I'm brought up old school, yeah. where you know you have a bit of pride in yourself, yeah. and you don't like asking for help. Yeah. You know, so I took it on myself that um, I got myself in this situation, so I have to get myself out of this situation, and that's the way it is. So how did you get yourself into this situation as such? Because when I came here, um, I thought myself that um, you know you could get yourself somewhere pretty quickly, yeah. you know, and then you can start a new life, however, but I found out the hard way, it's not as simple as that. Yeah. Um, like I said, in, in, in Northern Ireland, it's different than England, yeah. you know, and I found myself here that I've learned a hell of a lot that it's not as easy as what you think to get somewhere to live yeah. and start afresh. So, so where, 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 where was you, where was you raised as a kid? Was you raised? Oh, in, I was. In no, I was raised, raised in Oldham. Oldham. I mean, I'm an Oldham boy. Oldham boy. You know, but I haven't been there for what, like, near fifty years now. Yeah. You know, so, well, that's where I originally was born. Yeah. What, what about as a, as a trade? Like, did you have a trade? Yes, I was a machine minder. Oh. And uh, I, I did that for about fifteen years. But what does that entail exactly? What that entails is, is that you've got a bell and owl. And yeah. you've got a male crafter machines, yeah. and uh, basically, I made sure they run okay. When like the staff were running the machines, I made sure they were. When when they broke down, I broke down. I fixed them. Is is that is that um, like machine machine? It's mechanical. It, mechanical. Yes. Machine in metal. No. Yes. Well, if, have you ever had like Little Woods catalogs? Yeah. The machines what send. Uh, like the mail out, right. the statements and yeah, yeah. The, the you know the little catalogs what you get with them. Yeah, I I help to fix them machines what send them out. Right, I've got you. Yeah. Is that is that so? It, as a trade, is that something? I mean, that's something I've just always done. Is that something that you could go back to? Oh yes, no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah no problem. So, so I mean, you're, you're but it's very hard to find now. What the actual yeah with the, the actual, the actual work? Got. Yeah, it's yeah. very hard to find. Interesting. See, usually it's like people have not got or had like a working life as such. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like it's like asking a mechanic to yeah. go and do uh, lifeguarding. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it just doesn't. So like the work here, I mean, it's all like bar work and cleaning. Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, the season's coming up now, so yeah. it'll probably be easier to get something like that. Yeah. You know, which is absolutely fine. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I don't, I don't mind that. I mean, I'll clean the streets, mate. Yeah. I don't mind. I think for me at the moment is when you're wearing the same clothes all the time, it's yeah. very hard to go for an interview and present yourself. Yeah. So what, what you need, like any other homeless person, you need a base. Yeah. You know, where you can clean yourself up. You can, you can get clean clothes. You can have a shower. You can have a shave. Yeah. You know, and go for a proper interview. You know, otherwise they'll just look at you and say, no, so. so that's hard as well, is to do that type of thing. Yeah. I mean, like, it might sound like a silly question, but if you've got, like, ID? Yeah. yeah see, oh, got, yeah, got yeah, ID, yeah. yes. yes. So, so I suppose the next issue where it is, is, like, an address. Well, I don't have an address, obviously. I mean, my, my address at the moment is the Salvation Army. Yeah. You know, that, that's what uh, okay, that's what I'm Or the job centre is clusters, you know, that's my address basically. 
So would that work if you went for a job interview that you could use a Salvation Army? I mean, Army you as, know as, as well as me, job centre is clusters, you know, that's my address, yeah, well, basically. So would that work if you went for a job interview that you could use a Salvation I mean, Army? I mean, you as know as, as well as me. In construction, I, I actually went and, and offered somebody on the street a, a job opportunity. Interested. Well, that's fair enough. I mean, yeah. that's, that's no, a one-off. Yeah, I'll get what you, but I'll you get do what get people yeah. where, when you go for a yeah, job, they look at you and think, no. Yeah. 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 And exactly, if you tell them that like, you're off the street, <laughs> you know, obviously they're going to go to somebody else. And when you're my age, you know, it's hard enough as it is. Yeah. You know, so... I mean, to be fair, you don't look 62, like... Well, thank you. You look younger than me, and I'm like, uh, coming up to my 50s. I don't, I don't, um, I'm not an alcoholic. Yeah. I don't take drugs, never have done. Yeah. You know, I'm just a normal person on the street, like, like plenty of others, yeah. you know, and we're just trying to get through and start a new life. Yeah. And it's very hard to do that, you know, because when you're homeless, you get classed in a certain category. Yeah. And then people look at you as if to say, oh, you're, you're homeless, you've got to be a druggie or you've got to be an alcoholic. And we're not. You know? But I'm going to be totally honest, when, when, when I met you, yeah. That, that something stood out about you mm. that, that generally when I meet people is like you, you seemed well I, I've been told a lot of times that I'm the best dressed uh, homeless person to see <laughs> and that is not because uh, that, in fact that's because I, I can still keep myself clean Yeah, you can go to the Salvation Army you can get a shower you, know, you can get your breakfast you can get your dinner so that there's no excuse that you can't keep yourself clean yeah. I mean, I can't speak for like people who take drugs. Yeah. I can't speak for people who are alcoholics yeah. because I've never been there, so yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You know, it's, it, that that is up to them. That is their situation. But as far as I'm concerned, I, I try and keep myself as clean as I can. Yeah, I mean, I think you look presentable. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I need a shave. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But yeah, I mean, that, that's an interesting thing yeah. as as well. Yeah. Like. I always think to myself when people have got complex needs, and what I mean by complex needs is like uh, drinking issues, yeah. like yeah. talking like alcoholism, yeah. and, and, and like drug abuse, like yeah. and mental health. But for yourself, I will I will say that when you're homeless, so like in my situation, yeah, you come that close to joining in the alcoholism or the drugs. You yeah. come that close because you're lonely. Yeah. And, not, and you're surrounded by them type of people, yeah. which, don't get me wrong, I mean, I've met a lot of them that are really nice people, even though they're alcoholics or, you know, they're on drugs or whatever, yeah. and they're really nice people, yeah. you know, they've helped me, yeah. you know, in understanding what they are going through, yeah. which I never did when, you know, when I had a home and all this stuff, you don't, you don't think of it like that, you just think, oh, they're homeless and, you know, they don't want to work, but it's not like that, yeah. you know. I've met a lot of them where they do want to work. They do. They do want a chance in life, but it's hard for them yeah. because they're not given that chance. You know. So the best thing they can do, I mean, I'm speaking for them, go out there, have a drink to forget their problems. Yeah. Take drugs to forget their problems. Yeah. You know. And I understand that now. Yeah. You know. Whereas before I didn't, and I know I've only been here a short space of time. But you learn a hell of a lot, yeah. you know, and I do feel for these people when all they want to do is just have a, a nice life, life like everybody else, yeah. you know. They're not asking to be millionaires, they're not asking for loads of money, yeah. just just a nice life, just a chance, yeah. you know, and it's very hard, very hard for them. So talking about, like, just pick up on the, 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 mental, the mental aspect of it, like, yeah. how, how has it affected you being... It's like affected me, it's, it's actually made me more aware of life, yeah. um, more aware of people. Yeah. Uh, when you haven't been in that situation and you're just going day to day life, you don't see it. Yeah. But when you're in the thick of it, it changes your whole mind thinking, yeah. your whole aspect in the way you are, it just changes you completely and you start to understand that it's all right people say, you know, we've, we've got this, we've got uh, this uh, community, we've got that community, we've got this charity, we've got... But it's, it's not just that. You've got to help the people. Yeah. It's not all about food. Yeah. It's not all about, like, giving them money. Yeah. It's about 
putting them in a situation where they can build on something, yeah. build, build on their life again. And what I've seen since I've been here, not, it's probably not just black, black girls, it's probably everywhere, yeah. is that there's no proper help there. There's nobody to turn around and say, you know what, come here, we're going to do this. Yeah. You know? I mean, I'm not saying that it's all like that, but I'm just saying what I've seen. Yeah. And, and which which is absolutely fine. I mean, you, you say that, um, <clears throat> obviously the Metropole, I've been to yeah. the Metropole yeah. when I previously come in, yeah. which is housed by people say dingy people. Yeah. Um, it, it really annoys me in the sense of, um, I was at RAF Scampton recently, which has yeah. been earmarked um, for housing 2000 yeah. um, migrants. Um, now my, my biggest thing with, with, with that is, like yourself and like the group of people that, that, that are homeless there. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I don't understand and I can't comprehend in my mind how mm. we can have people on the streets but yet we can house people mm. <laughs> that come across. Yeah. So like you just said. Um, but at the end of the day, we're all human beings. Yeah. You know, yeah. They, they need help just like we need help. Yeah. But I mean, only what I've learned since I've been here why why can't they share? Yeah. Why can't like put them in with them? Yeah. You know, all be together. Yeah. You know. I'm not saying like to be friends or whatever. But you can you can do the same for both sides. Yeah. You know, whether it's foreigners coming in or the uh, the, the British people. Yeah. It doesn't matter. We're all human beings at yeah. the end of the day. Yeah. You know, we've just gone through COVID. Yeah. Yeah. Where everybody shut themselves down. What did the homeless people do? You know, who cared about the homeless people? Yeah. Not many people. No. You know, oh, you're all right. You know, you're all right. You know, I'm, I'm just going off what I've learned. That I've had friends in my life, and since I've been here, I've met some really, really nice friends who are homeless. Yeah. And believe it or not, they do have an art. You know. Yeah. You know, they're not all like, uh, oh, gimme, gimme, gimme. I mean, I listen to them, you know, and I speak to them, yeah. and they they have got hearts, you know. They're not they're not rubbish, yeah. you know. Yeah, a lot of them have got problems. Everybody's got problems, you know. It's just like we're short in different ways. Yeah, I mean, I think it's fair to say that um, I was saying about Demi, and I always go back to Demi yeah. because of the rawness that she showed in her interview. Yeah. Um, but I believe, like, with, with a lot of people with. Um, the alcohol problems and the drug yeah. problems that they have, like s some people have, like like really bad trauma, yeah. and, and like you were saying with with helping people, um, when we look at uh, Scampton places like that, why is the government not just putting like millions in, get people off the street, get them clean? If they don't want to get clean, they can walk out, yeah. like you know, but give people the opportunity to get clean. So we needed lorry drivers not so long ago. Like Teach people. Yeah, but there's, then, a, there's we can't, a whole... Then we can't drive. There's a whole airfield. Give, yeah. give, give them like a course, yeah. you know, where they can, what they can go on yeah. and learn the, these things. Fill these skill gaps that yes, need to Yes, ex exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Well, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Or well, five years? It's probably dead, like. <laughs> in the in the next year, uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't really uh, think of where I'm going to be or whatever. I take each day as it comes. What What would yeah. be the ideal situation? My ideal situation is just have a nice home and yeah. just uh, just be happy. Yeah. You know, that's all. You know, it's not asking for much. Yeah. You know, but but there again, when when you get told that, uh, even though I have a son here and a granddaughter. Yeah. That I've still got to wait like six months on low priority for a home. Yeah. That is absolutely ridiculous. So it's like saying to me, like, if you're an alcoholic or if you're a drug person, yeah. they've got more priority than me. Why? Why can't we all be the same? Yeah. It doesn't matter whether you're down there, up there, or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're all human beings. You know, we should we should get treated the same. Yeah. A really good point. Like, uh, to be fair, like you've, you've actually got me thinking in, yeah. in the sense of um, <clears throat> very rarely do, do I encounter and meet people yeah. that are in your position, like yeah. in, in the sense, like yeah. 
your position is unique in, in the sense of where you are, do you know what I mean? Because it's generally not yeah. where people are. I'll give you an example. Yeah. It was not last week, week before. There was this young girl who was sitting in the hut. She had two carrier bags. And I thought to myself, there's something not right there. And I found out that she was actually sleeping in one of the huts, a young girl, yeah. with the two carrier bags. And I thought to myself, there's no way I'm going to leave her there on her own. Yeah. So I went down and I said, right, we sleep down there, you can come with us and we'll you know, we look after you so you'll feel a bit safe. Yeah. Now she's with a friend yeah. who's helping her and she's in a home, do you know what I mean? So things like that, see homeless people yeah. can do things like that for other homeless people, yeah. you know? It's like tonight, there's a, there's, a, there's a guy sat in the end hut, yeah. and I went down to him and I said, look, you don't have to sit there, sit there on your own. He said he's been there for three days. You don't have to sit there on your own. Come over where we are, keep yourself warm, and at least you've got company, yeah. you know, because there's a lot of strange things that go on at night time. Yeah, I mean, well, the, when I was speaking to you, you were yeah. kind of sharing some of the stuff that you've yeah. encountered, so I don't know yeah. if you want to. It can be very scary. Yeah. You know, it can be very scary. And for me personally, at this end, I, th I think I would prefer it if somebody, whether it's the police or somebody else, drove around there more often, yeah. you know, to, because they know there's homeless people sleeping down there somewhere. Yeah. So come down there more often just to make them feel a bit safer, yeah. you know. That's what, that's what I found out. I mean, when, I, when I'm sleeping on the bench down there, you know, you've got to sleep with one eye open. And so you're not getting any proper sleep. And then if it starts raining, you've got to run up to the shed. Yeah. You're sat there all night in the pouring rain, yeah. you know? And it is, it's not nice. And then you get somebody like, say, say for instance, um, the doll or whatever you, whatever you call it, and social or whatever. Yeah. They expect you to go looking for a job. You've been up all night, you know, worrying about, you know, is anything going to happen? and then they want you to go and looking for a job. I think it's ridiculous. Yeah. If people are on the street, then they should take notice of that and say, okay, we've got to give them a bit of leave wear because we don't know what they're going through through the night. Because yeah. when everybody's in bed sleeping, it's people like myself, we're on the street and we're, uh, we're wide awake because yeah. we're wondering, oh, what's going to happen next? You know, is somebody come, going to come down, somebody who's a bit crazy and bloody, you know? Have you experienced that? Like oh yes, I've experienced it a few times. Yeah. 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 I mean, look, lucky enough, I mean, I must be lucky or whatever, that I've, I've woke up at the right time and just said, right, on your bike, yeah. you know, and they've gone. Yeah. So I've probably, but there's going to be people who are not so lucky, yeah. you know? So that's, that's the thing as well. I mean, the, the way I look at things, if I heard about that, and I had a car, or whatever, I, I would drive down there and see if anybody is sleeping there, make sure they're okay, you know? Make sure that they're sleeping okay, make sure that they're comfortable, you know? And, but a lot of people don't, a lot of people turn their nose up at you and say, oh, just because you're sleeping there, you, you're not a very good person. But there is a lot of very good people who are homeless. And I think that's what gets on, on, on my wicker the yeah. most. Do, do, do you think, <clears throat> like the mental health aspect, yeah. do, 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 do you think like, like in a month's time or, yeah. or two months time, six months time, but it, it, like you said, like it, it's easy to sit there just yeah. join in, yeah. do you think that's... I think, I think I'm speaking from my point yeah, of view. Yeah, of course. I mean, I'm too old to screw me. Yeah. I mean, nothing will change me, but you can come very close. Sure. You know, because you're involved with, with that type of thing. Mm. And, I mean, my, my friends will tell you, they'll tell you that I've been offered it, you know, I've been offered to get, you know, keep drinking out, but yeah. I've said no, it's not for me. Yeah. Well, that's probably because of my age and that I'm old school and, you know, my parents taught me that's, that's a no-go area. Yeah. 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 So, so that's probably why. I mean, I'm 62 years old. It's no use me starting now, you know, on drugs and being alcoholic. <laughs> it's no use doing that yeah. now, like, you know what I mean? So, 
I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I love a few, I love a few cans or, or whatever, but I know what my limit is. Yeah. You know, but a lot of people don't because they've got a lot of problems in their life and they don't know when to stop yeah. because it takes their problems away. Yeah. It's not because they want to be alcoholics yeah. or drug users. It's because they, they try to forget, you know, what problems they have. Yeah. And that, and that's because the way society is now. You know, and I, d I do feel for them. Like I said, I mean, there's a lot of good people there, and I'll say normal people don't see these type of things. Yeah. You know, they don't they don't see how good these people are. I'm not saying everybody. Yeah. You know, but uh, there, there is a lot of good people there. In in in, the, I can't remember who asked. Do, do, do you drive? Do you, have you got a driving license? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If, if if in like, um, I'm, I'm not saying it's. Like, would you accept, or, or would you, if somebody come forward with a car and went, listen, there's a car, like it's just a car, yeah. But like, like would something like that help? Do you know like, what I'd like to do? Yeah, go ahead. help people. Yeah, I'd like to go into say, you know, if I was young enough, go yeah. into the social services, yeah. help people, because because I'm a great listener, mate. Yeah. You know, I will how I will help people and try to explain to people, you know what things can do, how things are, you know, I, I, I just have a bit of a gift that way that I like listening to people, I like listening to the problems, yeah. you know, so that, that's probably what I'd like to do, yeah. So if somebody had a car, in, uh, playing devil, devil's advocate, if somebody had a car somewhere and said, listen, you can have this car, mm. or I've got a caravan, like you yeah. can have it and stand it, w w would you be open to that? If it was well, I would say, what are you giving it before? But let's say it's on the back, <laughs> yeah. But to help, like, listen, I've got a caravan. Yeah, then, like, then I'm, I will. I'm, but I'm in, like, Devon, like, you're more than welcome to just come and use it. Like, would, oh, would you, oh, yes, yeah. I mean, I'd say yes, but thank you very is, much. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what I'm trying course. to kind of broach is, is like, to, to push to see if somebody will come forward and go, yeah. like, listen, like, I've, I've got a car, you can have it. Like, it's just a car, but it's somewhere warm to sleep at night. Yeah, oh, and, I'd, and say, I'd say thank you very much, yeah, yeah. of course, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'd be crazy not to, Yeah. you know? I mean, anything's better than sleeping on the street. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I mean, may, maybe that, that, that could happen. Like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm a very, um, I've I, I tried to believe, like all day I've been like yeah. trying to push like this and I'm going to interview this guy tonight and I've been like, yeah. um, like if everybody puts a pound in and, and it's so true, like if, if like, like I've 3,300 followers yeah. and I think to myself, if everybody put like, for a couple of days, a pound in, that yeah. would be 6,000, like how many lives? Makes such a difference, won't it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But like, it's when you say it, um, and some, Kelly come forward, Kelly's out tonight. And do you know what? People have got the money, you know? Yeah. Because I hear a lot of my friends where they've said like, you know, if, even if they're begging, yeah. you know, they get 10 pounds, they get 20 pounds. And I think to myself, <coughs> excuse me, that like you were saying, if everybody, you know, did that, yeah. and it makes things so much easier. Yeah. It would. I mean, like 3,000 followers, like, we could go and get, like, 10 Even 10 20 pay, you yeah. know what I mean? It's, it yeah. makes all the difference. But l last minute, um, I, 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 I hope Kelly doesn't mind me saying, but she, she stepped up, and, and I haven't yeah. checked to see if other people have. Um, but maybe we can look at and somebody's watching and go, listen, like, I, I like what I've heard. What have you just done? When we come in here, what did you do? Um, you bought me a cup of coffee. Yeah, and, and I, just I even that yeah. means a lot. When yeah. you're out there at night time, just a just a cup of coffee. See, in my mind, it was like I wanted to kind of bring you out and, and have a meal. Yeah, and, and and sit down and have an interview and that. But I don't want the meal. Yeah, you know what I mean. But, yeah, I don't want the meal. Yeah, for me, a cup of coffee is fine. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's like I said. There's there's plenty of places where you can get food. Yeah. I mean, for for me personally, food's not my problem. Yeah. You know, my my problem is is uh, you're wearing the same clothes all the time. Yes, you can get different clothes from the Salvation Army or whatever, but they're not the clothes that you'd like to wear. Yeah. You know, and uh, it's like I said, I've had these clothes now since eighteenth of January. Yeah. Believe it or not. Yeah. And I just I just keep as clean as I can, yeah. you know. For me, that that me more than anything is having nice clothes to wear so you can feel good. It's all about the feel good factor. Yeah. 
if you feel good, you can do anything. Yeah. But if you're knocked down all the time, you can't. What would you say to the world to make it a better place? Pardon? What would you say to the world to make it a better place? Um, that's, that's, that's a pretty, pretty hard question, that. Uh, you put me on the spot, mate. <laughs> it, it's got to um, be from your perspective, like, yeah. I, I would say it's all, it's all right at the moment. I think somebody like me um, can handle it on the street yeah. because I'm not like um, a druggie or alcoholic or whatever. There's a lot of people out there with uh, a lot of issues with alcohol, you know, alcohol and, and drugs. They're the ones who need the help, you know. Not people like me. I mean, yes, I can, I can handle it on the street. I, I you know, I'm, I'm streetwise. I can, I can concentrate on whatever. Yeah. But the, the, but the real people are the ones that, um, you know, find it tough on the street, and it's like they've give up because there's no help there. And the, the help, what is there? They're probably inundated with more than they can handle. I think now we've got to start getting into politics now, but uh, no, I'm very strong away. on that. Um, far away. I think uh, instead of spending money on stupid things, spend money on buildings to help these people. You know. But I'm not going to get too much into that. Like you get the shot. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I, I, I mean I, I, I've seen first hand. Mm. Uh, some years back, it, it is that there was pilot schemes in Kent, yeah. and the initiatives that were put forward were, were great in in the thinking of, of helping people with complex needs. Yeah. But the problem is 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 um, rehabs or whatever service user uh, that give out the methadone. Uh, they yeah. they come forward and they all start bidding for money, yeah. and, and it's it's yeah. almost they'll provide a bare minimum yeah. of, the, an, the, the answer paper. is not giving them money yeah the answer is is having the places for them to go to get help yeah that's the answer not so, giving them money yeah I mean I think the, the, oh, I could be wrong but I think the biggest battle is mm. not people stopping taking drugs and drinking mm. I think that can be relatively easy to agree yeah. it's after that point well that, that is up to the individual yeah isn't it? You know, it, dep it depends how, um, how heavily they, uh, they're involved in it. And yeah, you, you, I get on turning around and say, oh, I wish I were on this and all that, but it's very hard for them to get off it. Yeah. And I know there's not many facilities that help them. I know you've got facilities, yeah. but um, it's like I say, they're probably inundated, you know, overpowered by, you know, but there again, blame society blame society for helping them to get like that because yeah. there's been no help you know so obviously if, if you haven't got a job you know you, you're on, if you're on the street obviously they're going to turn to like being alcoholic or being on drugs or whatever yeah. you know it's, it's so easy it's like I said I could go out there now and just start going on it you know yeah. if I weren't strong headed that's yeah. probably what I'd do because it takes your mind off you know uh, how lonely you are, how, uh, how down you are, you know, when you think nobody cares, you know, that's the way it is. Yeah. So, and I, was, I was actually talking about it the other day when I was looking uh, like at people and I'm thinking to myself, hey, they're going on to their houses, they're going on to a nice warm house, you know, even the people what turn, you, turn their nose up at you, you know, they're going on to a nice warm house. And how lovely it would be for a lot of these people to turn in and say, you know, yes, I've got a nice home. Yeah. I'm not saying everybody's going to be like that, but I would say the people I've met, yes, they, they would love a home, they would love a new start, you know what I mean? But it's just so hard. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. The, the, there was a lassie brought out recently. Yeah, yeah. And um, a new start. Yeah. And, and sometimes... Yeah. <coughs> Both these services, office services here. Yeah. That's what a lot of people need. They, they need picking up out of where they are and taking somewhere. Yeah. Totally different to have a new start. Yeah. I, think. I know. I know it's never going to change. No. But you know, even if you just help one person, yeah, it makes a difference. Yeah. You know, and, and like you were saying there, that 
if everybody gave 20p or something like that, you know? Yeah. And so, like, you get, I don't know, say, a thousand pounds, say, and you go to an homeless person and say, right, okay, there's a thousand pounds, not giving you any cash, right? Yeah. But there's a thousand pounds. Yeah. We're going to help you, you know, yeah. get a place to stay, you know, and like you say, get a car and, or some, somewhere where they, where, a base where they can start, yeah. you know? Uh, uh, yeah. A, a couple of caravans. Yeah, to, two people, people think in, it's two sort people of easy caravan. to go to the, the council, as you call it, and get a house, and it's not. It's not as easy as what you think. And unless, unless, unless domestic you're violence, very, very thing. priority, which yeah. which they do say that it's uh, for women yeah. and women who have children, which yeah. is fair enough. Don't yes. have a problem with that at all. Yeah. You know what I mean? But. Um, I mean, I've seen the queues outside, and they turn around to me and say, "Oh, like they've said, oh right, you know, come back next week, come back the week after, come back." Do you know what I mean? And it can be a drag, yeah. you know. You've got to start giving people hope. Yeah. If they want people to do things, give them hope. You know, it's no use keep like knocking them down all the time because they're just not going to do it. Yeah. So just give them a bit of hope there. You know what I mean? That, that, that's all it takes. So I suppose that that's really yeah your your message. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Hope. Yeah. That's that, that's what it is. Yeah. I mean, if everybody turned around, even if it's a smile in the street, you know, perk them up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because that that's all they ask. Me and my friends were underneath the thing tonight, and we was dancing and singing to the radio, <laughs> and there were these three girls on the. They're only young. They're only about ten year old, but they were dancing as well on the thing. That what makes people happy, yeah. you know, and you've got to you've got to look at homeless people that just because they're homeless, they're not down and out, you know. They still have they still have a mind, you know. They still have a heart, yeah. you know. I'm not saying everybody, yeah. but you know, I would say the majority of them, yeah, do, you know. And that were four homeless guys. What was doing that with me? Yeah. You know what I mean? Who have nothing. Yeah. But yet they were still singing and dancing, you know, in the song which I, f I find absolutely fantastic. Is, is there anything else you want to say before like, I kind of wrap this up? No, that, that's basically it really, except, uh, yeah, good luck to everybody who, who, who needs something. And, and like, obviously there is people uh, watching, I'll come back to that in a minute. Like, Shut the camera. And I'm sorry, I'm trying to share. Like, <laughs> oh, people can't see me, so that's good. I need to show you. <laughs> but I'm going to thank you for being here. Yes, you're thing. welcome. And your time. You're welcome. Um, I'll shut that off. I've still got the live going, so I'll check what people yeah, it's okay. say. It's okay. Uh, we'll go to the shop because, um, yeah, it's not well, I money, put it's me somebody else. It's across Lake and, and, you know, that's, that's fine. Yeah, no, that's absolutely fine. Um, if if somebody was to come forward, um, I'm not. I'm not. Well, you know where I am, like. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, if 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 someone was to come forward, um, with, um, and step up and go, listen, I've got a caravan. Like you're welcome. My, my thing is, I know there's people out there with, with resources. Yes. People have probably got cars that we don't use. They're scared. Um, and, and, yeah. They're scared. They're scared of the unknown. But you're in a different position to other people. Forget me. Yeah. Well, you know no, I mean? Because I, I can, I, at the I end can of the day, for you, for you to help me. people, you, you, you need to be right as well. Oh, I'm I mean? right. I'm okay. Yeah. I'm also, you know what I mean? I'm right. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah, but it's going back to what, what I said. Like I've, I've on um, TikTok, I, I think to myself, if, if you all put a pound in today, that would be three thousand three hundred pounds, mm. and, and we could go bosh and and rent a house, yeah. a four bedroom house, three bedroom house. That's three people off the street that have been given a chance. Yeah, it doesn't happen. But I, I, I still no. I'm afraid not. Yeah. But it's like I said, you you can't you can't please everybody, yeah. you know. So so, yeah. Hope hopefully something like that might come along. I, I can't guarantee it. Um, I'm not going. I, I I won't lose any sleep over it. Yeah. No. Do you I'm know what I mean? Yeah. I just take I just take it as it comes. 
Um, let's have a look at what some people are saying. Um, I don't know. Sure. I don't know. I know, <laughs> but his daughter would be devastated if they didn't know. Um, um, get in touch. Um, can't do that. Um, <laughs> Some people have said, um, I've given da 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 Your daughter or son? No, 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 no. That's no. what I said. But no, that's not. No. I, don't, I don't. I would. Yeah. No. And, and I get why, why you are what yeah. you're saying. Um, <clears throat> but it, it's someone. Yeah. Um, but. Um, it's it's, it's, you know, it's one of those. I mean, they either accept the speech or they don't. Yeah. You know? I'd say I get. I get. I get. I get. I get what you're saying because I'm I'm like nearly fifty, but I, I was as a kid instilled with um, certain morals and values to a degree. Yeah. Um, and so and I'm, so I'm very prideful. Yeah. I, I find it hard to when people offer me things or go to give me things. I, I find that very difficult. Yeah. Um, so so I get I get that like, to a degree. I think. Well, as long as you can get it, that's all I want. Right, we'll go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Up no to the shop, sort that out for you. No problem. Um, and I appreciate your time. No weekend. problem. Yeah, no problem. I'm fucking sick. Now, you just got to remind me, though, if we get onto GMTV, right? Yeah. Well, I've got to clean myself up. Like. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if 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 as if as a result of this you become like, uh, yeah, you end up with a big business or something. Don't forget me. Like. Oh no, I won't. no, I won't. No, no, I won't. I never forget my friends, man. Well, the li likelihood of that happening is like me winning the lottery. Ne never say never. Never say. I no, I do. I, ne I always say it, never because I of didn't think we we we. I didn't people think are people. All day I was sitting there. I was saying like I'm gonna go and interview this guy tonight, and, and and in my mind it makes sense. Like if it's ten of you, you all put a pound in. Like we can go and get the guy a meal and get my street for a couple of hours, have a chat, be in the warm and that. Yeah. And, and I was like, it come to it, and I was like, it's not gonna happen. So like, and somebody yeah. stepped up, and it was like, perfect, thank you. Yeah. And that's no, all it is. needs. Like people, like I don't get a gain out of this, yeah. other than it builds up um, a, a community of people. Yeah. to help people and like you said do you know what I mean that, that's doing like things yeah. that, that are productive it, it's more that, beneficial it, it makes you feel good as well yeah you know if you're doing something good it makes you feel good as well yeah you know I'll probably go and get a bay up tonight now. <laughs> <laughs> right let me grab one <laughs> do you want another coffee before we go no 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 I'm fine sure? yeah I've had enough I'm going to grab one coffee okay Yeah, the, 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 there's one thing about me, like I will, I will say it how it is. Yeah. You know, that's, yeah. that's one thing I will do. But I agree, I agree with with how how the system is. Um, like we you were saying about um, people being in hotels. Yeah. Now, now if if there's a Roman maximum law, which um, is still relevant today, is the day that it was written, and it's. Uh, the quality is paramount and mandatory. Yeah. So if the quality is paramount and mandatory, and people aren't harp on about diversity and equality and LGB rights and these rights yeah. and that rights, why are you on the street? The thing and is, there's too much politics involved. Yeah, you know, and, and you're, you're not going to change. People no matter make, how many people make money off people change. being homeless. 
Okay. People are making money out of people being yeah. homeless. As of course. Well. Yeah. I mean, I, I ain't that daft. I'm not that daft either. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I do realise it. Yeah. It's the same we're talking about for. for yeah. Um, yeah, for, for, there's good business yeah. in, in people not being on oh, drugs yeah, as well. Oh, yeah, of course. With yeah. the methadone. Yeah. Um, I know, yeah. It's a system set up to famine, that's it. Yeah. Well, the thing, the thing is as well, I mean, them who do that as well, you know what I mean? Yeah. Trying to earn a living. Yeah. You know, and I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to fault them for it. It's just, yeah, don't take advantage of, you know, poor people. Yeah. You know, people who are on the streets, there's, there's no need for it. Yeah. You know? Or if, if you are doing that, give some it back. You know, it's as simple as that. Do you know, I've actually felt like a politician. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I think it's been refreshing. And, and I do honest. get into deep discussions, mate, I do. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> But you know, life is what it is. Oof. You know, you accept it. All right, let me see. Um, uh, what does one out of life now? Um, somewhere to live, um, somewhere to stay. Um, there's millions on there, some sort. Yeah, so uh, let me just flip this round. Um, this is what I say, there's 3,300 followers, um, a pound, a pound in the kitty, uh, about to be 3,000 pounds, go and get a house for that. But they're not going to do it. No. Do you no. know what I mean? That, this, that, this, this, is, this is, this is the, the frustrating thing that I yeah. find with, um, like you can look on TikTok and there's, there's people but, but I'm not going to say the name because like it'd be given like um, publicity to it. But she sits in the drunk in the kitchen drunk, and, and people are just like that. And it's like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like you're killing the woman. Yeah, like, I know. yeah. It's, it's like I say, you can't help everybody. No. You know what I mean? But but if you can help one person, yeah, that if person you can help goes, one person, goes it on makes to, a hell of a difference. Yeah. Yeah. That person goes on to help ten yeah. people. It's better. Well. Yeah. Uh, Kelly says thanks for your time. Tell him thanks. Thanks from us for watching. Um, that's Kelly Brook. Um, thanks, thanks, thanks. Um, somebody asked any health problems. Any health problems? Health problems. Uh, yeah, my feet are killing me. <laughs> feet are killing them. <laughs> Is that a new pair of shoes? Uh, yeah, well I've tried like but they're still bloody hurting me. Still are. I think these might have been messages that I missed that could have been. You see, that's another thing I tried. I am. Um, the last time, in fact, my doctor's dead. Yeah. The last time I went to the doctors <laughs> was 40 years ago. You know, so see, that shows you. Um, I'm not one of these people that I'll put an illness on or something like that to go to the doctors. And yeah. All I've had is a simple cold yeah. in, that, in all them years. Are you staying here? No. Yeah, we're camping out. Yeah, yeah, we're we're, we're having a sitting. We, we want we want food and we want housing. And we're not leaving until you provide it. It's just because uh, you need to leave by eleven. Yes, we're going now, mate. No, that's not a problem. Mate. I'm just packing up, and we're just right. we're just off. Yeah. We locked the main doors downstairs. That's all. That's okay. Thank you for your time. All right. Um, hold the hostage. Um. Um, there's a man up here in Nottingham that hides money, gives the money away. I, I don't know what that means. Right, I'm going to shut this live and see what was put into the PayPal, and we're going to go to the shop and sort this out for the guy. He doesn't want a meal, like, he's honest, he wants some tobacco, and tobacco's not cheap. Um, we had a coffee. Um, if you want to message me, or you can offer something practical that can help. You see, even Let that, me know. E even that when, it, when you turn around and say, oh, uh, I'd rather have a cigarette. Yeah. Some people will look at that and think, oh, right, he just wants a free pack of cigarettes. But it's not. It actually helps you to be careful. <clears throat> yeah. 
Yeah. See, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna. Do you know like, what I mean? That, yeah, that, that's what it does. I, I'm gonna be. I, I, I do it as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll get that. And and you said yeah. there's places you can access food as well. But oh yeah, oh yes. I mean, I've, I've never had any problem like uh, going hungry or anything. Yeah. You know, because there's, there's lots of places about where you can you can get food and stuff. Yeah. Um, See, well, for you, me, food's not a problem. Yeah. Well, when you think about it, like. It, I don't know, maybe it's just me, how I think. Um, yeah. You know, if you took all the money away from the people that give people the money, yeah. you could probably do something really great with that. Well, well, well yeah, of course you could. Yeah, of well, course you could. Yeah. yeah. But then again, you've got to say, it comes down to their part as well. They've got to play their part. Yeah. You know, the homeless people. Yeah. You know, saying they are giving something, they've got to do something with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's no good like taking and then doing nothing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. so yeah, they they've got to do their part as well. It's not it's not just like the normal people who are living normal. Yeah. The homeless people have got to do their part as well. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna end the live. Um, we'll be back later on. I really hope you can get it sorted. Uh, if you wanna message me, message me. Um <clears throat> if anybody knows anybody um that can help in that sense. Um I'll leave it there. Yep, I'll be back soon.